Just got the truck back from Media Blast today, and boy, most of it looks fantastic. I was really expecting to have more rust, but there's very, very little signs of rust. Have a little bit here. Do a little weld patch on that. That's nothing major. All the cab looks fantastic. Floorboards do not need to be replaced. The only problem I'm going to have is in the rear cab corners. And it's very, very small amounts. And I've actually got replacement cab corners that just arrived today. The hood looks really, really good. Very nice shape. The doors could use a little bit of help. The doors do not look as good as I had anticipated they would. But I believe they're salvageable. A little bit of body dolly, welding, and a little bit of bondo. And a little bit of a dent in the top part of the cab. We'll knock that back out. There is no rust around any of the window areas. All very solid. Again, another cab corner. Got a little bit of rust hole in it. Got a new one for that. This step has just a little bit of rust over here too. But that'll be easily fixed. Again, no rust up in the front. One place I did find a little bit of rust it was right up in here. Got that all cleaned out. I'll cut that out, put a new piece of metal in there. That's going to be hidden anyways, so that'll be quite easy. Front fenders are rust free couple little dings, nothing major. All of the inner fenders look fantastic. Again, another fender, a couple little dings, again, then nothing major. Get to the back fenders, not so good. Got a very big wrinkle in this one back fender. So with the condition of these, for a mere $350 a piece, we're going to get some new rear fenders. Because this one here looks like it's been pelted with a hammer a few times. I think it's had some significant damage. So, looks like these go to the spare pile. But awesome. We're ready to get started. Project Z57. Here we go.